Welcome to a soft plan tutorial on adding a railing to a deck. You can see on screen right now that we have a series of walls, openings, and even a deck layout set up at this time. A quick review of 3D will show off the basic layout that is done thus far. Changing into soft plan and positioning the cursor on a blank portion of the drawing screen will allow you to right click and open up the draw menu. This is no different than going to draw from the menu bar in the upper left hand corner. Selecting deck, I can select railing, which will now allow me to go in and sketch where I would like to have the railing layout. And so in this case, as we're really just using this as an example, I will left click and at each direction change or placement point of a post click the left mouse button. To break the railing at this stage I, or to stop drawing it I'll simply right click. So once again left click to start, left click at each position point for the post. And what you will see in 3D is that the standard square railing has been added to the deck. This railing can now be modified. At this stage I will select edit item, select the railing where I can go in and make property changes. So if it were desired to get a, a more of a picket style um, where the spindles are fastened to the outside of the tow rail I'm going to go in and simply make some changes to things like the handrail width. I'll key in five and a half inches, assuming a two by six is being used there. And I'll leave the handrail position centered. In other words, over the post, it's going to be centered according to the dimensions. We'll leave the tow rail in place and simply change the dimensions. And if I change it to a one and a half by three and a half, it's like taking that two by four and turning it on its end. In this case, I'm going to change it from being centered on the post to inside. As far as the spindles are concerned, uh, square will work for us today. And if I turn the height on, it will adjust the height according to the new tow rail dimensions that have been placed in there. The spindle facing will remain at outside. And if I select OK and zoom it in, you will see at this stage that the spindle pattern is actually fastened to the outside of the tow rail. The beefed up handrail actually overhangs the spindles. And if I want to make the same change to the other portions of the railing, I would simply repeat edit each of the railings that have the same modification made. And so all that's left to do at this stage is using the edit item feature, modify the railing, select the post tab, and change the style for the post in this case to flush. Once again edit the handrail and change the style to flush. And that's all there is to it. We hope you enjoyed this.